Hello guys and guys, welcome to a special episode today, where we will be building in something other than our little series of town time. I know, right? It's, it's been so, whoops, it's been forever since we've done something like that now, hasn't it been? In fact, it's been many years. It, well, for you guys it hasn't been, because I just didn't post for... I just didn't post my old videos until much later in my life. But, as you can see, I'm not showing something behind me. That's because it's a, uh, it's the thing I've been waiting to show everyone. And it still is un incomplete, so that's why today I decided, hey, you know what, let's get work done on it, but on video. Because why not? Also... You're going to see that I, I am quite undressed for the occasion. I'm in my, my PJs, you know? It's not it's not looking too good, is it? But we'll fix that right, right now. And then, once we fix that, you'll also see what the special thing is. Alright, so let's reset. And I'm the only one online. Which is okay, and good for the what we're doing right now leave chat open this is it of course it's it's a little underwhelming I will admit unless it isn't I don't know but this is something I, I it's one of my first lart like more towards the mega size of builds which it's definitely something to say cuz I I do like to build a mega size but it isn't always a mega build you know like it doesn't have these sort of qualities I'd like to have in my mega builds, you know, like extensive detail. But of course, you're probably quite confused now if you've never. Oh, also, let's take a look at our beautiful blacksmith outfit. Also, that's my character. That's my role in this uh thing. But yeah, you're probably a little bit confused, especially if you're new to the channel. Even if you're just a um, recent viewer of the channel, you'd probably still be confused. Which is completely understandable, because we've been working on a diner for the past 17 episodes, and then we s just barely started our factory for our Orberville town thing. But yeah, this is a fantasy town, basically, in fantasy times. So... Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to start off, though, by showing stuff. I'm going to start off showing what I started building first off. And that would be this wizard's tower. I'm pretty sure it's done. Also, we didn't, we weren't, we didn't know how to, like, make good decals when we were doing stuff like this. In fact, also, this entire build is, like, strictly just me building I built it all, except for, like, my friends helped out a little bit, but I ended up changing it to more of my liking anyways, and they didn't really care, because it's my build anyways, but let's let's have a look at this ginormous wizard's tower. Well, it's not ginormous, of course, it's actually quite cramped. Also, I'm limited to the amount of height Bloxburg would give me, otherwise I'd do this very large twisting spiral of a thing that would look quite cool. But, I'm limited. So, of course, nothing that I ever build will be finished forever. Because I'm a large... There's two things that don't fit together. I'm a bit of a procrastinator when it comes to something... Of course, I want to put aside for a while, because I get bored of it. And that always happens, you know. And also, I'm a perfectionist. So, when I'm not procrastinating, I'm spending every second of what I'm doing to make sure it is perfect. But yeah, this is, it's a, it's a, it happens to be quite a problem. But, I live with it. Alright, we gotta get this tour through pretty quick so we can start building in this video at least. But, this is the upper stairs of the, the, uh, wizard's tower. And, of course, you can, uh pause whenever you'd like, it really doesn't matter. Also, this is technically a roleplay sort of build, 
Oh, and I, I don't have nearly as many windows as I'd like to have in right now. Some of these buildings haven't even gotten started yet. So, yeah, that is one thing. Also, have a look at this thing real quick. This is a pretty cool wheat farm. If you want to know how to do this, it's just tall grass and, like, dirt or whatever you want to put at the bottom. But, yeah. Then, Scarecrow. I'll still have this barrier around. I did this last minute. I don't, I'm not too sure how I feel about it, but I kind of like it. Also, this spiral staircase was done entirely out of structural stuff, which I think it looks absolutely outstanding. But let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, this little this is the little farmer hut. And yeah, it's very very little. <laughs> some some stuff we're going to have in this build isn't going to make sense for fantasy times. Of course, like like uh, this running water shower thing. Of course, they could have worked something out with like a, you know, a, a, the river spinny, you know what I'm talking about. That's I might try to build that. Who knows? Maybe maybe that can be right there, because this area was completely empty. The only reason I had it like this was because this was where I was putting all my holiday stuff. But yeah, I could totally do that. Also, if you're wondering why the uh, the river cuts off there, that's mostly because um, it doesn't... Robo or Bloxburg doesn't let you go a block... the block closest to the barrier, so that's a bummer. But I, I let it slide, it's okay. Also, what looks really nice about this build is all these lanterns everywhere. It lights up the path so perfectly. I just love it so much. Also, the lake looks way better at night, in my opinion. Like, look at that. It's all purple and stuff. That's amazing. It's so beautiful. But yeah, so let's have a look at um uh, uh, our little markets, which I'm quite proud of. I love these little stands. And also, this is a pumpkin stand as well. It's a little bit smaller because it's selling less. It's just selling a bunch of pumpkins. So, this is our little pumpkin patch as well. Also, I'm not going to carve any of those because we don't want to do that. We don't want to make it look like a nice little pump. Bleh. Nice little pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. There we go. All right. The, also, this this dock. It's much easier to show you at daytime. I should have figured out a way to put lanterns on this as well, but this dock is entirely made out of structural stuff, you know, like when you go to build, you look at the structural, it's entirely made of that. But, if you look at these little canoes, they are not, because that would take absolutely forever to do, and I didn't want to do that. But the paddles, those are structural, and I like the paddles quite a bit. Um, of course, I'll give tutorials on some of this stuff in certain videos which might be the next video who knows because I'm I do wanna take a slight break from the main build we're doing at the moment which you know what it is if you've seen my channel which is it's town time but if you're new thank you for joining us it's absolutely amazing also usually I can get up here right away by swimming and then jumping because it launches you a little bit but yep like that oh yeah I love this canoe so much Looks so good. Alright. So, let's have a look at our um, church temple thingy. It's, it's, you'll, you'll see what I mean when I go into it. It, it, it. The Also, I'm not trying to be, like, leaving out anyone's religions, but I, I got, I did those three symbols, and... I can't fit any more on there. I will try to find out what other religions there are and what their symbols are, if I can. Um, because I don't want to leave anyone out, but, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to be rude like that, I'm not trying to force religion or anything. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to do that. And these are like the, the scriptures and Torahs and all that stuff. But yeah, it's that little... Church, temple, thingy, whatever you want to call it. Because, what, whatever you call it, if you even... even Okay, also, you might not even be religious, and that, that place doesn't matter to you. But it's it's medieval times. Of course there's going to be uh, some sort of church, you know. But this one is just a more openly... Like, it, it, it allows you to have your own religion, basically. 
But yeah, this is a pile of logs, which I actually like quite a bit, and I will definitely show how to make those, because I like that a lot. Also, this area is um, my headquarters, which it's like one of the only ones closer to being done of all these buildings, I believe. Yeah, that one's empty, that one's empty, that one's empty, and that one's empty. But of course, I will tell you what they are. Also, I would not recommend using the shields and stuff, but... In the case I had, I, I had no choice, because it's the best thing I could get to look. But you know, sometimes you have to improvise, and that happens. But yeah, this is my, my anvil, made completely of tissue boxes and some uh, placemats, or cutting boards, whatever. Tiny hammer, larger hammer, barrel of water, and this is pretty cool actually, and I'll show you guys how to build that in another video as well. So. Yeah. Also, I got um, uh, charcoal and gravel or whatever all over because I'm constantly making weapons. Like, oh yeah, and there's a sword, pretty cool looking sword. So let's head inside to my headquarters. This is my little shop section. Um, we got a nice little cashier, some hide um, carpet right there. You know, nice little looking thing. And then, uh, yeah, a nice cornucopia there, a bucket, because it's a bucket, I don't know. Then I got some tools that I'm selling up there, like a hammer, some, like a, a, a larger dagger, then a small sword, then a large sword. Oh, and I'm going to add more little things in these shelves as well to make it look nice. I like this upper area, though. Um, this is my, my little area. Basically, it, it's just my, uh, my sleeping quarters and my shower. I really like this hide thingy. I love that thing. That looks awesome. Like, the, uh, you know, I'm talking about the shower curtain. It, and I made it look like, um, very thin hide. I love that look. I don't know why. I just, I just really like it. It looks so good. In my ass. But, yeah. In my eyes. Yeah. I'm slurring my speech quite a bit. Oh well. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to make an anvil, how to make that. Also, I'm going to try and make a better anvil design, but, you know, you, you, you can only do so much in Bloxburg. But, this is, as I was saying, this is a roleplay thingy. So, um, that, the, that is the wizard's headquarters. So, if you want to know who the wizard is in our roleplay, that would be CT, Krulta. If you didn't know who I'm talking about, it's one of my good friends. And basically, every one of my good friends is playing at least one role. Also, that building that hasn't been constructed yet would be the mage's headquarters, which is Mel. Mel is the mage. This is the mayor's headquarters. Um, my friend Death, or... Uh, I, 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 God, XX, whatever, he, he changes his name around quite a bit, but basically, and right now he's like 24-something, but he is the owner of the private server we all mess around on, so yeah, and this is Jinji's headquarters, he is a bounty hunter, which is pretty cool, also, these two are my sons, and I'm like, like, one of the founders of this, um, thing, but the mayor is my son, and the bounty hunter is my son. This is the bar, which in Roblox, for some reason, it doesn't let me say that out loud. Also, that's a bummer, I don't know why that happened. I'll fix that later, but, yeah. Um, yeah, this is the bar. It's, it's a bar, you know, it serves, it's, like, it's the only... Other place, like, it's the only place other than the uh, food stalls that serves food and it's and drinks and whatever. So that's like our, our, uh, that's what everyone goes to. And this one is going to be a pawn shop in the back. It's, this is going to be one of my favorite places ever to build because I love pawn shops so much. It's going to be decently hard to, um, replicate that, uh, sort of, feel of a pawn shop in Bloxburg, of course, and of course make it look medieval and such, but there will be an attempt, 
I'm sure of it. So yeah, that's that's what has happened so far. Oh, and that's the farmer's headquarters. I don't know if I said that already, but we already had a look in there. Uh, we ha like here. I'll tell you all the roles we have. We have farmer, wizard. We have mage there. We have fisherman for the boats and docks and whatever. We have a priest or pope slash whatever. He he basically does all of the things for for religion wise and whatnot. And we have the farmers are the stall keepers. They 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 keep track of those. And I'll, and we'll have another person keep track of this one, or like there'll be shifts or whatever. Mage, of course, right there. Um, mayor, and then we'll have the bar owner. They're actually gonna live at the top. Uh, we will have a bounty hunter, of course, and then pawn shop owner. Pawn shop owner is gonna be Joel, and the rest of them I'm not quite sure who does who but like who does what in the thing but like who plays what roles basically but I do have it written down somewhere so it's not a problem what we could have is like the fisherman could live back here and like that's where the thing is you know the spinny thing oh also I forgot to show you guys the graves and in this roleplay my 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 uh my wife passed away sadly but um yeah, that her grave is the middle one, and that's also why I have. I always try to put some level of story, backstory in it. The flowers that are on the grave are the same ones in the vase, and they were her favorite flowers. Um, and and uh, favorite colors and whatnot, you know. Pretty sad actually when you think about it, but I mean stuff happens. Whoops, sorry about that. All right. Let's check on the time of the video, because <laughs> that very well may be... Oh, oh, we're only nearing 20 minutes. We're at 17 minutes. Yeah, 17 minutes at the moment, like 17 minutes, 22 seconds. Okay, so what, what build should we do? Because I have many options. Of course, I can also just continue pathways to the to wherever and make everything have a decent amount of detail like of course we need a ton of grass everywhere after we do pathways and yeah that that won't be as fun <laughs> i will admit um yeah i had all my vehicles here earlier when i was building mainly on this thing like i had my uh i started building this in the winter season which was one of the most annoying ones to do especially if you have a fall sort of thing going on but uh yeah so it was constantly snowing it, it was really annoying so what i had to do was i put a ginormous glass roof it cost like something around thirty thousand dollars uh in Luxburg money and i put it at the top and it was a glass roof that's why it cost so much but it got rid of all of everything. It was so good. And I deleted it earlier. But, uh, yeah. And, and even, I might not even, I'm, I still might pro procrastinate a little bit and not do this. Because, you know, I, I don't want to do it, really. Because I haven't done this one in a while and I have no clue what it's supposed to be. Still, like I, I still know what it is, of course, but I'm not, I'm not like being a little bit insane or anything. But um, I know what everything's supposed to be, and I have a general idea of everything. But I am, I have been, and I keep doing this. I keep procrastinating on this build because I know I want to keep working on it, but I, I, I'm too. I keep trying to be too detailed with everything, and it takes forever to get each build done. I think I want to get the mages home done, but you know, do I? Do I really? Is that really necessary? You know, and I don't even know. I could have just done this for a tour, because 
we're right at that 20 minute mark. It's a good time to stop. But we could continue on, because I have been way better with commentary today. Especially because it was a tour, and not trying to talk while I focus on building. Oh, let's have a look at this dock as well. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Wait, let's see. Oh, I can't, that, okay. Oh, wait. I, I have lied to myself. Wait, I was sure I put one on there already. Wait. Hold on, sorry. Let me put that down. I, I didn't I didn't know you could place it on certain things like this. That's awesome. Look at that. That's amazing. Alright, that looks awesome. I love that. Let's put this a little closer here so the people don't uh fall off into the water while they're trying to turn off the lantern or whatever. But yeah, I, I, I think it would be pretty cool to add stuff to the lake, actually, because it, it, at the moment, it is quite bland. We only have two canoes, and that that's it. We have two canoes and a dock. So much. Um, We didn't try to do art on the bridge, because I could do like a full archway bridge, but it would be annoying, especially at an angle, and you know costly but yeah we could as also like just do this this bit here cuz look at that look how perfect that is that I think that's outstanding how I can just delete that floor and it gives me enough space to do whatever so we could do that make the fisherman's home cuz we do need a fisherman's home and I could look up a quick little thing the uh, uh, thing on Bob for it, a reference picture fantasy fisherman's home <clears throat> pardon oh wow it's pretty cool Ooh, I just saw a minecraft one that looks awesome oh, that's a neat boat design it's pretty cool I always see little things from like Pinterest and stuff that Pinterest is awesome. I I'm not I'm not gonna give it any hate. Pinterest is absolutely amazing. I love Pinterest so much. Like I think it's the like one of the best websites ever for me because I get so much like ideas that spark. And then I bring, like, certain aspects of certain things together, and it makes the most, like, the coolest builds that I can think of. And it's awesome, because Pinterest is amazing. Also, I will be trying to do um, Minecraft videos. And I might even start streaming on Twitch, because I have a realm that I play on with um, uh, six of my friends, and it's a pretty cool realm. Right now, we just got started, but I have two Fortune 3 Unbreaking 3 pickaxes, and one of them has Efficiency 3 on it, too. So, doing pretty well for myself. I have a lot of diamonds. It's, like, unreal. Um, one of my friends hasn't even started mining yet. I've just been giving him a ton of my iron, because, you know, I'm nice. <laughs> I'm so modest, haha. <laughs> but, okay, maybe we... Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Here's the, here's the thing. We could stop right now, but I'm having a lot of fun talking. But here's the other thing. I don't want to build this right now. Look look at me. You, you know how much laziness I I have. Oh, also, right now at the moment, the price of this thing is already $500,000. But, you know, <laughs> What you gonna do? Oh, also on the Minecraft world, I have like somewhere around 34 extra diamonds, fully enchanted diamond armor. I'm like the most set person on the game, and I'm still keeping up with building as well. And right now, me and my friend Gavin, uh, it doesn't matter if I give out his first name because we call each other by that, anyways. Um, 
or we'll call each other by nicknames or whatever, but those don't matter. We don't say our full names, and it's not a big deal. But my friend Gavin, Gavin and I, uh, we, we started this bunker build right away as soon as we got in. But at, of actually what I did right away was go right to mining so I could get some diamonds. So did my friend who plays on his phone and got x-ray. So he was being a bum about that. He got a ton of diamonds. Um, he did throw them in lava afterward, which I was like, okay, what? Well, the, there, there was no point in doing that because he could have just done it legitly. He got four diamonds legit, and I said he could keep those. Just stop using x-rays because it's annoying. It's no fun, you know? But yeah. So, back, back to what I was saying. Me and my friend Gavin, we started this bunker build. This ginormous bunker build. It goes all the way down to bedrock. And we have so many ideas planned for it. I don't want to give any away quite yet unless I do an actual stream or a video on it. And, I, and here's the thing. I don't know how to do videos while recording my voice on Xbox. I don't know how it works. Do I need a real gaming headset? Because the headset I have right now, it's just a normal headset with a microphone on it. It's 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 not that big of a deal. It's not like a name brand or anything. I shouldn't. I don't think I should have to get one of those. I think it's the recording software that matters, you know. But yeah, it it's it's something that I I always uh think about. But um yeah, back to what I was saying. Like well, I don't want to give too much away. But um I'm I'm very I was sort of bragging about how stacked it was on the game. But you know. Sometimes you gotta do that when you're when you're that good at Minecraft, you know. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not trying to be annoying or anything. That's not my goal. But uh, hey, what which which one should we? I I have to build a house on this one. That's why I did that name. And I keep procrastinating. I have like a a thing set up, and of course we could do that right now. But then I'd have to change the title. And I don't want to do that. We still have 13 minutes left in the video. Okay. Let, let's do something. But it can't be this one. What, what's this? This might be empty. I'm not... Yep. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Let's go to main menu. Let's go to the old Orbit. Orbit. Yeah. Orbit. You know, the old one. Not, not the new one I'm doing right now. Which is technically an old one. It's it's a weird paradox having the old Orberville, but I'm making a new Orberville that's like the old version of this Orberville. But I think I might have to actually. You know what? No, screw it. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna end off the video now because I I don't know. But. Good video. <laughs> it's still an end, I know. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching so much. Gotta go. Bye bye